Hello, welcome to our daily Godcast of evening prayer on this Friday of the fourth week of Lent. Our reading today, it's amazing to me to think that this reading today from the Book of Wisdom, written thousands of years before the birth of Christ, can describe him and all that he went through, all he did. This is a, a biography of of Jesus written a thousand or so years prior to his being born. And it's just, it's it's incredible. Look at the reading from this morning. It's just, uh, you know, for us who know Jesus' story, you read this and, and you can't help but say, wow, this is spot on. They really did nail the essence of the story of Jesus. God at work, right? This is that, that Holy Spirit working, inspiring people to write things for us, for our edification here 2,000 years, 3,000, 4,000 years later after the Book of Wisdom was written. You know, uh, just it's remarkable. And, you know, it, it speaks of how Jesus would be rejected, you know, by by us, by the people of of the earth, and uh, it certainly was the the case. Jesus talks about in the gospel today how, you know, he's he's here, he's real, and I came from my Father who sent me. I'm not here on my own, but I came because I was sent and he was given a mission which he lived perfectly. He did the will of his father here in all that he did, all that he said, all that he taught us, all of his remarkable works, the miracles of his life. And still he was hung on a tree and crucified, you know. It's, it's, it's just the... Uh, the reality of the situation and the uh, the depth of love that God has for us. And I think the lesson here for us today is that we don't understand God's workings, God's will, God's uh, being so different from us. I mean, yes, we're created in his image and likeness, but we don't have the mind of God. We don't possess his wisdom, his intelligence, his awareness of what his plan is. We don't understand it. We don't comprehend it. But from through our faith, we're taught that we trust it. You know, that, that leap of faith, that trusting in, in God's word and in God's will is our challenge. No, we can't understand it. You're not going to have that aha moment and figure out everything that God is about. Maybe that will happen when we meet him in his kingdom. But until then, I think it's futile to even try to grapple with the depth, breadth, beauty of the mind and will of God. But just trust in it. That's what we're called to do. We're called to just understand that he's God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. He's got a plan for us. He's got a desire for us to share all eternity with him. Isn't that remarkable? Creator of everything, his biggest concern is for us to not make him lonely. He wants to be with us. <laughs> That's amazing. So here we are. <clears throat> J 
just befuddled by the ways of God, but trusting, believing, trying to live in such a way to please him, to honor him, to worship him, and to be, you know, his arms, his eyes, his heart in, in our world, trying to be Christ-like, trying to live in a divine way, even though we don't understand it, you know, we try best we can to, to live by his statutes, trust him, and allow him to point us in the direction we need to be pointed in. Let us pray our evening prayer. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A shoot will spring forth from the stock of Jesse, and a flower will bloom from his root. The Spirit of the Lord will rest upon him. Praise, O servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. May the name of the Lord be blessed both now and forevermore. From the rising of the sun to its setting, praise be the name of the Lord. High above all nations is the Lord, above the heavens his glory. Who is like the Lord our God, who has risen on high to his throne, yet stoops from the heights to look down, to look down upon heaven and earth? From the dust he lifts up the lowly, from his misery he raises the poor, to set him in the company of princes, yes, with the princes of his people. To the childless wife he gives a home, and gladdens her heart with children. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord Jesus, word of God, surrendering the brightness of your glory, you became man so that we may be raised from the dust to share your very being. May there be innumerable children of the church to offer homage to your name from the rising of the sun to its setting. A shoot will spring forth from the stock of Jesse and a flower will blossom from his root. The Spirit of the Lord will rest upon him. The Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will reign forever. O praise the Lord Jerusalem, Zion, praise your God. He has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed the children within you. He established peace on your borders. He feeds you the finest wheat. He sends out his word to the earth and swiftly runs his command. He showers down snow white as wool. He scatters hoarfrost like ashes. He hurls down hailstones like crumbs. The waters are frozen at his touch. He sends forth his word and it melts them. At the breath of his mouth the waters flow. He makes his word known to Jacob, to Israel his laws and decrees. He has not dealt thus with other nations. He has not taught them his decrees. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, you established peace within the borders of Jerusalem. Give the fullness of peace to your faithful people. May peace rule us in this life and possess us in eternal life. You are about to fill us with the best of wheat. Grant that what we see dimly now, as in a mirror, we may come to perceive clearly in the brightness of your truth. The Lord will give him the throne of David his father, and he will reign forever. The eternal word, born of the Father before time began, today emptied himself for our sake and became man. Though he was in the form of God, Jesus did not deem equality with God something to be grasped at. Rather, he emptied himself and took the form of a slave, being born in the likeness of men. 
He was known to be of human estate, and it was thus that he humbled himself, obediently accepting even death, death on a cross. Because of this God highly exalted him, and bestowed on him the name above every other name, so that at Jesus' name every knee must bend, in the heavens, on the earth, and under the earth, and every tongue proclaim to the glory of God the Father, Jesus Christ is Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The eternal word, born of the Father before time began, today emptied himself for our sake, and became man. A reading from the first letter of St. John. This is what we proclaim to you, what was from the beginning, what we have heard, what we have seen with our eyes, what we looked upon and our hands have touched. We speak of the word of life. This life became visible. We have seen it and bear witness to it and proclaim to you the eternal life that was with the Father and became visible to us. What we have seen and heard we proclaim to you so that you may share life with us. This fellowship of ours is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. The Word was made man, and he lived among us. The Word was made man, and he lived among us. He was in the beginning with God and lived among us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. The Word was made man, and he lived among us. The Holy Spirit will come upon you, Mary, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Holy Spirit will come upon you, Mary, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Before we go into our intercessions, just I want you to know this, tomorrow is the 25th of March, nine months before Christmas. Not that you want to get ready for Christmas already, but tomorrow is the feast day of the Annunciation when the angel Gabriel appeared to Mary, bringing her the good news that God was coming to earth through her, if only she would say yes. So when we start these prayers here, just realize why it's going to sound like it does because we're in the uh, vigil time the evening hours prior to the feast day tomorrow on this day the eternal father sent his angel to bring mary the good news of our salvation let us turn to god and pray with confidence lord fill our hearts with your love you chose the virgin mary as the mother of your son have mercy on all who look for your gift of salvation. Fill, Lord, fill our hearts with your love. You sent Gabriel to give Mary your message of peace and joy. Give to the whole world the joy of salvation and your gift of true peace. Lord, fill our hearts with your love. Mary gave her consent. The Holy Spirit overshadowed her, and your word came to dwell among us. Touch our hearts, that we may welcome Christ as Mary did. 
Lord, fill our hearts with your love. You look with love on the humble and fill the hungry with your gifts. Raise up the downcast, help all in need, comfort and strengthen the dying. Lord, fill our hearts with your love. Lord our God, you alone work wonders, and with you all things are possible. Give us the fullness of salvation when you raise up the dead on the last day. Lord, fill our hearts with your love. Gathering our prayer and praises into one, let us offer the prayer that Christ himself taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. God our Father, your word became man and was born of the Virgin Mary. May we become more like Jesus Christ, whom we acknowledge as our Redeemer, God and man. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. And may Almighty God bless you all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. You know, getting back to my reflection about how we just don't get God's thinking sometimes. We just, back in the day, when people were waiting for the Messiah to come, they fully expected the power of God to appear like on a white horse and a bolt of lightning, striking down all the enemies and giving them a utopian uh, world to live in. You know, that the power of God, they were, that's what they were ready for. That's what they, you know, they're in their human thinking. That was how God was going to, to come, right? But what did we get? What did God's plan have in store for us? That a child, an infant, would be born into poverty, into a stable, lying in a manger, a feeding trough for animals. A helpless little baby. God. His presence. It makes, in human terms, very little. You know, it's, it's just hard to, to come to terms with that. But that's God's plan. So, don't question it. Don't try to figure it out. Glorify in it. Trust in it. Thank God for it. Cooperate with it. And I'll see you in heaven. God bless you all. And hopefully I'll see you tomorrow here. All right. See you then. Night.